protests still taking place. Christy, talk to us about uh, this issue that has galvanized so many people in Hong Kong. Um, Rick, the protest is still taking place. It is culminating here on the map, the geographical endpoint of today's march, the Legislative Council building. And imagine this march took place. It kicked off in Victoria Park about seven hours ago. There are people still arriving, people still gathering here. Just represents the amount of anger that there is. Now, according to the numbers, Hong Kong police estimate that about 240,000 people took part in this protest. Organizers claim that one million people plus took part in today's March, as evidence, and you saw that sweeping aerial video. This international city, this international financial hub, being brought to a literal standstill earlier today because of the sweeping size of today's protest. Now, at issue here is this controversial extradition bill that would allow the extradition of suspected criminals into additional jurisdictions. Now, the Hong Kong government says it's necessary to cover up a legal loophole that exists. But you talk to the protesters here, and many critics of the bill, they don't buy it. They say that this extradition bill, if passed, it would allow the extradition tradition of critics of Beijing into China, and once there, they would not be allowed to have a free or fair trial. Now, the protests today, although very massive in scope, have been relatively peaceful. Police, they have announced the arrest of at least seven individuals. Pepper spray was used on a small group of protesters earlier today. And again, bringing us back to the destination of today's protest, the Hong Kong Legislative Council building, later this week on Wednesday, June 12th, that is when Hong Kong lawmakers will again review this highly controversial piece of legislation. The organizers of this march hope that today's march will be able to somehow convince them to table the bill. We have to wait and see if that happens. But what is definitely true is the result of today's protest march, the sheer scale of it. Hong Kong police saying 240,000 people took part. Organizers saying more than a million people took part. This was an event that surely captured the world's attention.